War Games, written by Jack T. Chick. You are the target. After your death, your soul will live on for eternity, in heaven or in hell. Peace-loving people have been brainwashed and turned into soldiers, not for a country, but for a belief. This one is named Melissa Gordon. Here's Melissa with little Emily, ready for combat. Melissa's military headquarters is located in Brooklyn, New York, where they program families for world conquest. This is the ammunition facility. The most powerful weapon in the arsenal is the Watchtower magazine. Melissa's taught to love it, defend it, and trust it more than the Bible. She's gone through intensive training five nights a week for years, making her combat ready to battle for your soul. What do you see across the street, Bonnie? Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't want you to open the door, Frank. I didn't run when I was in military combat, and I won't run now. Hello, I'm Melissa, and this is my daughter, Emily. Nice to meet you and Emily. I've got questions I'd like to ask you. Did you bring your literature with you? Oh, yes. Let's go sit under the tree, and my wife, Bonnie, will bring us some lemonade. Thank you, sir. Now, Melissa, I do understand you think Bonnie and I are pagans, and you want to save us from annihilation at the Battle of Armageddon. With all my heart. Good. So tell me, which one of these can I trust to protect my soul from destruction? If I'm a soldier and I can choose from two weapons, I want the one that will save my life and those around me. Which one would you choose, Melissa? I trust Jehovah's Watchtower. It gives me a new light. Does it claim to be inspired by God like my Bible? No. The Watchtower admitted on August 15, 1950 on page 263. However, the Watchtower does not claim to be inspired in its utterances, nor is it dogmatic, which means claiming to be true. Also from Wake Magazine on March 22, 1993, page 4, it admitted, The brothers preparing these publications are not infallible. Their writings are not inspired as are those of Paul and the other Bible writers. And you can also see from the Watchtower on March 1st, 1981, page 29, and Winning the Witnesses by Daniel Rodriguez, pages 34 through 37, which is available from Chick Publications. So you will trust your eternal destiny to a magazine that admits it's not inspired instead of God's holy scriptures? The Bible says the holy scriptures are able to make thee wise unto salvation. A crack appears in Melissa's armor. There is a precious person, person inside that armor that Jesus died for. Is she worth helping? Absolutely. The watchtower completely controls her life. What could crack her armor off? This is the Achilles heel. When faith in the watchtower is shattered, everything comes apart. Then what must take its place? Melissa, is this the way the watchtower says that Jesus died? Yes, on a torture stake. Where did Pilate place the sign over Jesus? Over his hands. Please read Matthew 27, 37. It says, And set up over his head his accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. If the sign was over his head, where were Jesus' hands? Not over his head. Another crack appears. One more question. How many nails are in Jesus' hands? One. One. Could you read what Thomas said in John 20, 25 to me? Okay, but I'm using my Bible this time. Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and stick my finger into the print of his nails. So is it one nail or more, Melissa? Go. Oh, it's more than one. Then the watchtower is wrong. Jesus didn't die on a stake. If the watchtower couldn't get that right, how could you trust it to lead you to eternal life? We can't trust the scriptures. May I read to you from my Bible what it says about Jesus? Yes. What's wrong, Kitty? What if the scriptures proved that Jehovah and Jesus were one and the same? That's impossible. But what if it's true? Jehovah spoke through the prophet Isaiah. I am God, and there is none else. So only Jehovah is God, right? Absolutely. Then Jehovah says, I have sworn by myself that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. So every knee will bow to only one being? Who is that? Why, Jehovah, of course. Now look at Philippians 2. That at the same name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue 
should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. If we only bow to God alone, then Jesus must be Jehovah. Both are the same God. We must only pray to Jehovah, right? But when Stephen was being stoned to death in Acts 7, he saw Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Which did he pray to? Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. At death, our spirit returns to God. Jesus received his prayer and his spirit because Jesus is God. Melissa, after Jesus died and rose again, he appeared to doubting Thomas. And Thomas called him, My Lord and my God. If Jesus is not God, that's blasphemy. But Jesus accepted his worship because Jesus is God. Isaiah the prophet spoke these words of Jehovah. Look unto me, and be ye saved all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. The apostle Peter testified of Jesus to the high priest. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Melissa, Jesus is Jehovah. Melissa, Matthew 1 fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah 7.14. Mary, a virgin, bore a child. That child, Jesus, was called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Jesus lived a perfect life. People tried to find fault in him because he did things God was supposed to do. Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? Many good works have I shown you from my Father, for which those works do ye stone me? For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Evil men beat Jesus, then killed him the Roman way, by crucifixion. Note, two nails. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But three days later, Jesus raised his own body from the grave, just as he promised. Only God could raise his own body. Melissa's armor is shattered. Melissa, I care about you and your daughter. Please take this Bible and check everything for yourself. May God lead you into all truth. Thank you. Bye, Kitty. At home. Jesus, I know you are Jehovah God. I believe you died for me. Please forgive me and come into my heart. And he did. Melissa is saved. Jesus said, Him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Dear reader, the inspired scriptures state that Jesus Christ, who died for your sins, is Jehovah God. Do you believe this? Yes or no? Do you trust him in his shed blood only to save your soul? Yes or no? Will you receive the Lord Jesus as your Savior? Yes or no? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.